Hi there, I'm Romina. I'm a designer and metalsmith for my own brand called Circle Jewelry. And this is my studio. For many creators, holiday season is a huge opportunity but it's also really stressful and we often have to work over time or personally I just keep working until I can finish a certain piece to ship it on time before Christmas and so on. Anyways, holiday season is crazy and even if I want to have a nice and tidy working space, I just can't. So, I want to show you not the perfect jeweler working space, but the messy place it becomes at the end of the year. And I hope other creators can relate with me, so here we go! My studio is in a small room and has two main spaces, a white long desk and my jeweler's bench. My desk is custom made by me and is where I usually have breakfast, check orders and also is the place where I pack my jewelry, like these little daisies I made in silver. This surface is supposed to be clean and clear most of the time, but this past week have been really intense and I also use this spot for taking pictures from my jewelry, so it gets really messy because of all the pieces scattered around, props, sketchbooks and stuff like that leaves, flowers, and more. Next is my jeweler's bench, which I commissioned to a local woodworker and I absolutely love it. It has so many drawers which help me organize better and take care of my tools and materials. For example, here I keep all the accessories for my rotary tool and right now it's a little bit messy but still way better than keeping them on top of my bench. The surface of my bench is really messy right now with lots of pieces in process and tools everywhere. I have some scrap metal that was going to melt but I ran out of gas so I just left it there. And also one of my glass jars where I have my pickling solution got chipped and leaked overnight. So out of desperation to keep working I cleaned and prepared more solution in this temporary little bottle. Sadly the leak got even to my steel block and rusted, staining the wood. So I'll have to do a deep cleaning, sand a bit and paint it again. I'm glad it didn't make it to my precious rolling mill which I love and helps me to prepare material like this big piece of silver. Next is this trolley table that I designed and built myself and was supposed to be my pegging area but the top is filled with random stuff. Anyways, I use it to keep organized my pegging materials like boxes, cotton bags and different kinds of papers. On the other side I made custom drawers to keep my steel tools protected from moisture and dust. And a vertical drawer to store hammers, saw blades and different kinds of mandrels. My other cabinet is also made by me, has lots of thin drawers to store mainly small supplies. And this is my favorite drawer of my pride. My crystal drawers where I keep all my stones organized in little boxes, separated by types. Finally, I couldn't leave out my tea corner, which is also a bit messy, but I enjoy having a variety of teas. Even Jason Funderburg is judging me because of my messy studio, but it was a crazy holiday season, so it's okay. Of course I know that having this mess is not healthy, so I'm going to fix this place as my first mission of the year, which makes me really excited because I love my studio when it's clean and it brings me so much peace, even if you don't believe me after watching this terribly messy tour. And I feel way more inspired to create when everything is tidy. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're a creator and you have a huge mess too, Let's clean it up as a goal for this new year. See you next time.